My name is Madison Wallace. I am 18 years old. Uh, my name is Darren Kennedy. I'm 32 years old. We're at the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library, and um, I'm with Madison, who shares an, or will soon share an alma mater with me, Topeka High School. You're going to go off to the University of Kansas this fall. When you encounter people who are unfamiliar with life in Topeka, how are you going to describe your experience at Topeka High School? I think I would describe Topeka High School as being a really weird place um, <laughs> because we have a very different demographic uh, with a lot of different kinds of people. So we definitely recognize that we're really diverse, but we don't actually let it affect us that much. What makes Topeka High so much different than Topeka West or Highland Park or any of the Topeka area schools is that though we are very like racially diverse, we are all really bonded by school spirit. One. That's actually really amazing to me because both of my parents are Topeka High grads and the school is completely different in many ways. Um, their experiences were wildly different than my experiences. But the one thing that bonds them all is this insane T high Trojan pride. Like my mom, despite having had some really atrocious ex experiences, still she looks back um, with so much pride on being a Topeka High Trojan. Of course, we still see some segregation in some things. Right. I'll never forget feeling very frustrated upon my graduation, looking around at, again, a school that was majority minority, yet of the top 10% counting myself, I could count the number of black students in that group on one to two hands of a graduating class that was 400. And that frustrated me because I knew plenty of students who could have easily handled the work that I was doing, but I felt that they weren't being told to do that. Unfortunately, I think it's still probably the same. So we still haven't taken that step yet because I don't know why, because it's been 14 years between the two of us mm -hmm. and being seniors. Right. So you would think that there would be more of a difference, but it's kind of like since the civil rights movement, since Brown v. Board, since we actually started integrating schools, the integration has stopped. Right. I think over time, over the past few decades, we realized that Brown was just a beginning and that there's so many more steps that have to be done. We're looking at these numbers and these numbers don't bear out what can be done. Um, I don't know that I have an answer. Thank you.